Hey everybody, Paul here, back with Chroma Squad. So, in the last episode, we did stand a lot of the tutorial stuff. So, in this episode, we're going to start with our Season 1, Episode 1. First episode. The plot episode for your very own series. Today, Petrolia Co. will deal with new threat that appeared near a science lab. So, as you can see right down here, it shows us what our director's instructions are, which are to perform three team acrobatics and keep all actors above 50% health. And then the next thing we have to do is defeat boss monster with a finishing move, and then defeat all minions before attacking the boss monster. So let's start. Season 1, Episode 1. Wow, our first episode! That's awesome! What if our first story was about a group of monsters that try to rob a science lab? And then I beat up dozens of them! Yeah, great, but hold on. We should add a narrator. Don't start the action yet. Once upon a time, a group of heroes is born. What do you think, Glad? I heard that a good plot starts like that. It's, it's good, but it's spelled wrong, isn't it? Once up time? Oh, the guy who sold us the narrator software told me it's one of its quirks. We should just roll with it. These powerful teenagers are the last hope of humanity. And their first task is to defend the science lab from an evil monster. Hmm, but aren't the minions kind of late? Where'd they go, Lee? I don't know, Claude. They should hurry. What do you say, Deny? They must be keep getting dressed. Don't worry, let's just have fun with our new job. Alright, here they come. We will have lots of editing to do later. R5D401, action! Noisy noises. Oh no, it's a bunch of guys. <laughs> hey, you all! Get ready for some action! So, first it's all we have to perform. Three acrobatic uh, moves, team acrobatics, whatever. So, you're gonna get one there. And you can see what the director's instructions are up here, and um, usually when there's something like this, it'll say how many you've done, or something to that extent. So, let's have you go there. Have you. Uh, what? Let's have you go there then. Yay, we already finished one of the director's actions. And I'm going to show something really cool in a second. Well, once uh, the enemy's turn is over, we have something very special we can do now. We can go to the bottom here and we can chromatize, which uh, brings everyone together. And here we go. Lights, camera, chromatize. So now we are the Chroma Squad. And let's defeat the weak nutcracker guy, whatever he is. Yeah, weak nutcracker. Um, let's go here, attack you. Yeah. Ouch. It's got you. And uh, you see that how we got an item called duct tape? You'll see what that does a little later. So let's do teamwork. And let's attack. Now let's just defeat the last four. And as long as we have our health above half, 
we'll be fine. And we'll get the director's uh, dire uh, instructions. Hmm. And I want to show off this. This is uh, the um, techies, one of the techies moves that he learns at the very beginning, which is multi-shot, which is really cool. He uh, shoots everyone that's in that vicinity, so it's really good. And of course, we missed. It's fine, we can do it with Claude. Yes! So we got both of those instru uh, director's instructions, so now to the next scene. After defeating the powerful aliens, while the squad was planning what to do next, something devious appears. That's an amazing entrance. Wait, uh. That's an amazing entrance, transmit Transit Mancer. This will be great. Keep it up. Chroma Squad, why did you have to mess up our visit to the science lab? You will face the consequences, but not right now. I'll come for you later. What are you doing in that lab? It's none of your business. Wow, who was that traffic light guy and where did he go? Wait, Jet, are you acting or are you really lost right now? Oh, come on, Lee. I'm acting. Go on with the story. Er, okay, well, I don't know, Jet, and I can't take track it with my scanner. That monster may strike again any minute now. Cerebro might have something to say. You're right, Deny. We should go see Cerebro. Wow. Chroma Squad heads to Cerebro's chamber. They reach the place with the glorious teleport effect. Wow, R5D401. I didn't expect that you could render such a cool background with the chroma key. Me neither. This looks much better than the one I did. Better for us, huh? After everyone explains the situation to Cerebro. Why do you want that research data so bad, Cerebro? They believe it is the key for them to unlock the power of time travel. This is not a power that anyone should have. Now return to your previous location. I'm detecting a new threat. It's impressive to see the Cerebro device working. Chroma Squad heads back. The teleport effect is not ready yet. To the scene running! Where the monsters can't wait to use my special poses. I'm late. How deep are we into the episode? Deep enough. You are so late, boxing box. This won't happen again, I'm sorry. Back to our lines then. I'll turn you into cardboard. Don't get me wrong, Jet, I'm card bored. Minions, join me. So what we have to do for this one, I'm pretty sure is we just have to defeat all the minions before we attack the box at all. Ready to serve, boss. Watch out. So yeah, we have to defeat the boss monster with the finishing move, and we have to defeat all minions before attacking the boss monster, which is pretty easy. Let's have you go to attack. Let's have Jet go after this one. And then we can have Claude. What? What? He sucks at moving. Okay, well we can have him do teamwork at least, and you can go and do. That. Nice, we got rid of one so far. And we can go here. And teamwork. 
Yay, we got some counter hits in. No. Okay. Ouch. And then, oh no, I don't want to attack him yet though. Okay. Let's do that. Then, hmm, I'll attack you. attack this nutcracker with our sword. Um, then I can kill that weak nutcracker. And then let's have you go here and use your sword to slice him away and f uh, finish that director's instruction. And oh no, super punch! Oh great, I can't use my uh, special attack on him yet. That's fine. We can just do this. Just keep attacking him. And come on down. Ouch. Okay. Since uh, I can't even do anything with him yet, what I'm going to do then is... Can I use this on myself? Yeah, I can. Use Heal Doken on myself, which is funny because it's like uh, Hadoken, but it's not. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's so funny. Okay, I'm going to go over to here, punch him, and go to here. A little bit more damage I want to put on him. Okay, so I should be able to do it next turn. Hmm. So let's just move. Lead to this area. And then let's move the Nye to here. Teamwork, teamwork, and finishing move. Yeah! And yeah, we defeated the boss monster with the finishing move and defeated all means before the boss attacked. Or before we attacked the boss. Ah, I've been recycled! But what about that transient Mancer? Monsters always come back when they fail in their first try. It will show up soon enough, Lee. And when it comes back, we will be there to stop it. To be continued. Well done, everyone. This episode should make quite a splash in the community. Yes, it should, hopefully. And hopefully with all of you, too. That would be great. <laughs> so our audience was 2,559 people. And we got materials. We got duct tape, cotton, and Play-Doh. And uh, from all the audience, we, uh, generate cur uh, we generate money. And you can also read these little tweets that you uh, get after every episode. So, uh, at Mark Parker. So many good shows to watch. Now must add Chroma Squad to the pile. Hashtag first world problems. And at Rob Townsend, how can this series be so good? I'm speechless. Hashtag Chroma Squad. And then Rudon, uh, watch, watch Chroma Squad's latest. Join us for our Sentai podcast at 8 p.m. And then Sam Stevens said this was perfect. Chroma, hashtag Chroma Squad. So now we can continue. And we have that money now. Um, and now we can go to this new little thing that's called crafting, where you can craft your own things. And you can also go to materials, and as you can see we have four, um, duct tapes that we can use one of, uh, we can use three of them to create a silver tape. So, 
uh, once we collect enough stuff, we can make the bucket helmet, and we can make the homemade suit, and get cardboard swords, which are really good, and clay guns, which are also fun. And then, uh, you can get like the gloves and the boots, which really help out with all, uh, every, well, with everything, really. <laughs> but for now, uh, we're gonna just go back to the shop. We're gonna go here. And... Oh, wait. Uh, let's go to the actors. Let's go to equipment. Um, they all have stuff. You don't. So let's give you the to a toy sword. And you have a toy sword. Or, uh, and we'll give you a toy sword. <laughs> and equip. So now everyone has a toy sword they can use. Yay! Actually, I'm gonna give him the assault pistol. Or the toy pistol. And actually, no, you know what? And no, I'll, I'll stay with that. So, uh, another thing I wanted to show you is this. So, each character has a different s s skill set, and uh, more get unlocked for each when you start each season. So, for right now, our assist has Heal Doken. You can either choose Heal Doken or Energy Reserve. Uh, I really like Heal Doken because it's really easy to heal the team. Uh, for the techie, you have Multi Shot and you have Find Weakness. Again, I love Multi Shot. It comes in a lot. It comes in handy a lot um, later on. Uh, for the leader, we only for lead we only have one right now, which is the Eagle Lasso, which is really good. Uh, it pulls enemies up to four tiles away to the closest position adjacent to you, which is always good. Uh, and then we have Strong Arm for Assault, which teamwork acrobatics with uh, executing them will make you go two extra tiles. And then our Scout has Stunning Pose, and it stun adjacent minions and daze adjacent bosses, which is really good. And, uh... I'm going to show some other stuff that we, can, we see here. So we can also go to the studio. And there's different little things you can buy. Uh, which I will be buying. Um, you know what? Let's... Let's buy... Hmm. Let's buy SD camera. And healthcare bronze. And I'm going to save the rest of my money for now. And then you can also go over to here. And you can change the uh, name of your studio. You can change the whole squad name. You can change what the transformation is called. You can even tra uh, change what they shout when they transform. Um, you can change the mecha name, which is going to be really cool. Which I am going to change to Chromosaur. Which means I'm going to change this to chroma sore activate just cuz i feel like that sounds better than uh mecha and let's do their finishing move to be uh chroma actually you know what uh if i get more people to watch this you guys can pick what i choose for these things so Right now, I'm just going to have it say Chroma Finish, but uh, I want you guys to come up uh, in the comments, write a squad name, a transformation, the transformation shout, even the mech name, and what the we should call out for the mech, and what our finishing move should be called. And I will most likely do that if I get any... Uh, comments, which I probably won't, but whatever. But we're going to save that for now. We're going to go back, and uh, that's going to do it for this episode. Hope you guys had a fun time watching, because I had a fun time playing. Please like, subscribe, comment, favorite this video. It really helps me out, and I really appreciate it. Anyway, see you next time, guys. Bye.